Welcome back everyone, guess where we are? We're in Cyprus. It's a little windy this morning, <laughs> but as you can see the sun is out and it's shining and it's really nice. We're here to celebrate Easter week with Simon's parents. Sadly, we can't be with all of our family because we are spread apart, but we are going to try through the vlog to get family together. And of course, you're part of our extended family. And so that includes you too. Wherever you are, do let us know where you are because we love hearing from you. And we have lots of exciting things planned this week. We're going to try to put the boat in the water. Yes, Which, uh, if some of you may remember, we brought you here to Cyprus last year where we introduced you to Simon's parents and also they got a letter from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and uh, that was a very very exciting time and yeah, so fantastic. we'll put a link to that video at the end of this video if you'd like to see that and get to know Simon's parents a little bit better but you have a little bit of a DIY project because Simon's dad is now 85 years old but he still loves to sail yeah. and so this is a real father-son bonding experience and Ashley has been taking some fun Easter video for us in Florida and Isabella a lot of you have been wondering what's going on with her she is in Paris unfortunately she had to be studying 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 so hard and couldn't join us here in Cyprus but it doesn't mean that we can't be together we're gonna have lots of adventures a little DIY even though we're not at the chateau and there's always uh, a little something a little, yeah. there's always a little something to make yeah. well now that you've got all these useful carpentry skills you know yeah it doesn't take as long as it would have taken <laughs> put them to good use <laughs> yes That's right. yeah. let's go have some fun I love Paris in the springtime. Welcome back everyone. It's April in Paris. Hi everyone. <laughs> um, as you can see, we're here by at the sun. Uh, we're going to show Jack my next favorite location where he's going to go. Not only this bridge, which we used to walk our dogs all the time, but we're also going to go down by the sun. There's some beautiful pastries looking at the Museum of just over here behind me. Hope <laughs> you're having a wonderful Easter from our lovely, lovely local bakery. And we're overlooking the sun and some runners. It's absolutely gorgeous. We have the Musée d'Arcy, we have the Musée de um, Légion d'Honneur, and we have the Eiffel Tower. And Jack's about to dive right in to this. <laughs> oh, itching. <laughs> weekend and here we are visiting my parents in Cyprus and we're about to put our dad's boat into the water and there he is so the cover needs to come off need to give it a good clean Hello. Hello. You were fast jumping up there. You're excited, I can tell. Well, we packed this up a few months ago, well, nearly a year ago, and it hasn't been uh, unpacked since, so. Yeah, we took everyone sailing with us, remember? And your parents should be here any minute. Boat definitely needs a really good clean. I'm really excited about those cushions right there because we just had those made and it's going to really change the way the boat looks. <laughs> Gotta do a little interior de decorating wherever we go, right? Nothing can compare with being next to the beautiful blue ocean, getting lots of beautiful weather. In our last video, we took you to Chenonceau and it was gorgeous, but spring is only just beginning in France, whereas here we're practically having summertime weather. All good? Yeah, there's just one guy over there who's going to do it. I'm going to do the cover though. Okay, the cover's off and now it's time to put the boat in the water. This is quite the exercise. Are you excited? Yeah, we'll get her in the water and then uh, we've got a few things to do with the rigging first. Okay. Which we had to loosen to get it on the lift. Crazy. 
<laughs> and they just push that around. We're visiting one of my favorite childhood spots, the Musée d'Arcy. Um, as you can see behind us, it's full of vibrant, vibrant life and tourists because um, it's peak season right now. Um, however, I was just showing Jack around because this is where I remember going skating <laughs> on my scooter um, and spending afternoons just like today at the local museum doing activities. Our little boat looks like a minnow compared to this boat here. <laughs> but it is a minnow. <laughs> Lovely old boats out here as well. Ours is old. How old is, how old is this one? 1976. Ah. Let's hope, that, let's hope those straps are strong. They don't break. <laughs> She's in the water. From 1976, it only took a few minutes to get it going. It looks like it's taken a whole team of people to get it going, to me. <laughs> and a new battery. So if 1976 makes a boat a classic, and apparently our boat is a classic, I think I've just discovered that that makes me a super classic. Hmm. Well, as long as my engine can keep ticking over, I think I'll be okay with that. Though from time to time, I might need a battery change as well. You know what I love watching? Perfect. So, how old is your dad now? He's 85. Well, he is right in there helping to fix that engine, get the rigging going. It's impressive. Yes. <laughs> you know I, what I'll be doing at I 85? Hope, I hope you have those jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I'll be doing that at 85. Oh, I hope you are. <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> What's this? Come on. Come on, you get mangled in there, aren't you? Come on. Come on, aren't you come? Why come would on. he crawl up in there? <laughs> get older, the little bug. Can you get older? Not easily, not there. Can you get him? Not easily, hang on. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I got it. All in mode. Come on, is it coming? It's stuck, I think. It's not easy. Oh, come on. Is he coming? Oh. I'm getting it. I've got him behind the neck. There you go. Oh. Get on. Take him home. Show me the kitten. Oh. Stop crawling into little cars. Stop crawling into cars, little cars. Oh. Yeah. 
okay, she's terrified. They're in a bag, you can put them in, in the car. Yeah. What are we going to do then when we get in the house? Susanna, home? Will, Susanna will take care of it. <laughs> You'll have to phone her. I will. I'll be in trouble if I bring a cat back Okay. Are we taking it home with we us? Are. We are, but please close all the doors so you can't go anywhere else. Well, this is certainly exciting. We came to Cyprus for the weekend and we've ended up with a kitten. A little, a little cat. Well, thankfully, well, it's a little kitten. your sister is the expert kitten rescuer. Hopefully it won't leap out while I'm driving. I know. <laughs> I gave it, I put some chicken down, so hopefully it'll eat that. I can't believe it crawled promptly from inside the car engine, or the car bonnet, into the, the, the wheel bed of your parents' car. That was crazy. Hopefully she won't pee on your coat. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> She can be our cat in Cyprus. She could be our Cyprus cat. She could be our little Cyprus kitten. She could be the Catalan. She's absolutely our little Catalan. 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 She's more like a Catalan. Well, suck her up to be a Catalan. Suck her out. She's a little curious thing. Mr. Darcy was just the same when I rescued him. For those who, for those who are wondering. So a few years ago, I was having my other big surgery and Simon was on the way to the hospital and he saw a kitten on the side of the road who he rescued named Mr. Darcy because he looked like he was wearing a little dinner suit and is now lovingly homed with one of my best friends named Bristol. Mr. Darcy of La Montonnerie. Bristol, by the way, claims that uh, you owe her an awful lot of child support <laughs> <laughs> for, your, <laughs> for your wayward... For Mr. Darcy. I didn't get any visitation rights. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll use that argument. <laughs> it's Catalan. Catalan. It's a Catalan. Catalan. It will be a Catalan. <laughs> oh, no, it's a Catalan doesn't make sense. <laughs> And Catalin does? Yes. Okay. It absolutely does. Anyway, shut. Well, actually, shut. Shut. <laughs> yeah, I, did. I, said, I said the naughty version. <laughs> I'm not going to, for anybody, for anybody who doesn't know what I just said, Stop I'm not going to translate it. <laughs> Stop talking. Good grief. Oh. Your little Marina Rescue. Marina would be a good name too. Oh, Marina's a nice name. Marina's a nice name. Maybe we should ask our viewers if they prefer Catalan or Marina. No. Okay, we've got a little friend in the back. Yes, I know. Whereabouts is that? She was right in the very back, right Can in you here. Hold it? So she Can you hold her? I've got a cat mouse. Everybody's curious. Hello, all the little rescues. Luna, you stay here with me. Come on. Oh. So cute. Sweet baby. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hello. It's okay. It's okay. You've got some food. Even though it's gray, I wanted to show you guys this view out of Simon's sister's window. It is so magnificent with the sea in the background. And look here. There's even a small version of one of Simon's photographs. Isn't that pretty? I love his art in any size. I can't wait to feature it on the upcoming website. <laughs> look. Her in a way, little Aww. happy. And she's got a little home lined up for tomorrow or the day after. And Someone's gonna come and get her. Because my love is here. It's hard to concentrate on studying in Paris. <laughs>
remplacer avec un autre. We're here at the Bon Marché and I'm getting ready to surprise my parents with some cheese for when they get back from their trip to Cyprus. So behind me we have a whole selection and I'm thinking about getting my dad a sheep's cheese that's not chef, <laughs> sheep's milk cheese because that's his favorite and we have a really interesting one here with wild garlic. plank to go onto the boat so that just makes it easier it just makes it easier for him to get on and off and uh, anybody else who has trouble climbing up over the rail which is me which for is the moment as well which is all of us actually <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And we're not at home, but I'm going to do a little bit of DIY for the boat. So we thought we'd call this sailboat DIY. <laughs> and let me show you what I'm going to be doing. So what I have here are two planks. And they've been cut to two meters, which I put together. So as you can see here, these are two planks. All right, I've put them together side by side. And they're 25 centimeters in width each one so that's going to be a 50 centimeter plank when it's uh, all good and on the other side here if i can just show you on this bit i have started to put in the supports so these are cut to about 47 or 50 and i've just screwed them in four screws each and these will hold those planks and this is going to be the bottom of the gang plank here what you can see is that on this side, which is the top side, which you walk on, there are a number of slats, okay? These are for your feet as you go up. If you're walking up carrying something, this will help you keep a grip or help your feet keep a grip on the plank as you go up, all right? And on the other side, we've got the, the, deeper, the deeper pieces of wood and these are used to clip on or hold on to the boat. All right, and they go down here because if it slips, then one of these could catch again and hold it in place. But it is going to be tied, as I said. So let me show you. I sanded this a little bit because I want to take off, it's very, these are rough planks, of course. We didn't spend a lot of money on this wood because it's just, it's just gang planking. So all we want to do is I sanded it, take off the worst of the, worst of the, um, let's take off the worst of the splinters so that if, if and when you're handling it and moving it around you don't get a big splinter in your, in your hands. Um, so that's why it was just roughly sanded and cleaned up and uh, we're going to seal it with some varnish. Oh it looks like you've done a great job. Some of the little colours will come out. Yeah this is the top. Now how do you know if that's oil based or water based? Because I've used it before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a coat of varnish which will help to seal it. I wanted to just make something quickly to last a bit while I uh, am away for the moment. And then when I come back, hopefully this will still be usable. That's a very quick gangplank made and it took about uh, maybe 45 minutes to an hour to make it. While Simon's negotiating getting some water and electricity for the boat because she needs a good clean, I am going to carry on with Simon's little gangplank project and write the name of the boat on the gangplank. This is fun. <laughs> Gentle. Wow. She almost didn't make it. 
She nearly didn't. She's a very lucky cat. Well, they have nine lives, and this one has used up one of them. Hudson Valley, you can see the new garlic bed behind us, um, and the forsythia is blooming, so it's really pretty. Did anyway, we went out on the boat. Hi, we did. We went out on the boat. Stopping off to find some flowers for your mother. It's Easter, I think she needs some Easter flowers. Yeah, I think um, if we can find a nice pot to plant, though, she'd rather that than cut flowers. So okay, great. Some she can keep them growing. Oh, it's so pretty. Look. Look at the roses. Oh, the ro you know, it's amazing how well the roses grow here. Those I would have thought it would have been far too dry and arid. I'm actually really liking all of these bright colors. I think this year we need some bedding plants at our little chateau that are brightly colored. They're beautiful. Yeah, but have a look at this, right? Yeah. You see? This here. It's almost lavender. It is. It's a very pretty uh, rose. I can't remember the name of it. It's like... Um, it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, what kind I bet of somebody watching knows that they could tell us the name of it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I and like it's it. got this kind of David Austin old-fashioned rose shape. It's, it's very beautiful. It has a scent. Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Oh, look, it matches. Yeah. Wow. Okay, are we going to get that for her? I think we should get that. I mean, okay. quite honestly, we'll look around some other stuff. But quite sure. Honestly, beautiful. That is about, that's perfect. I oh, love these pink gorgeous. marguerites. Wow. Wow. Hello. And these, and this is pretty too. These little purple ones, look at these. It's gorgeous. I don't know what these are called, but they're beautiful. 
Now this is really extraordinary. <laughs> there are more roses here. Yeah. Some really beautiful ones. Oh, I think the ones that we. This were these huge white ones. Oh my goodness. Look how big they are. Look compared to the size of my hand. Yeah, they're very big. Wow. Those are like pebbles uh, or icebergs. And these ones look a little bit like our Elvis roses or an iceberg. Yeah. No, they're tinged. They're tinged. These are these are tinged with pink. So these are something else. Oh, and this is one of these wonderful bicolored yeah, ones. Think, well, these are gorgeous. I, I, I'm really. I think these are just really pretty. That's a, that's a nice example too. It's got really nice upright. Very rooms. strong. Yes. And it's got a very strong stems. Mm -hmm. And I just love the faded. They yeah. they're, they're nicely colored, but they have that kind of faded look, which I yeah. really like. Well, even in Cyprus, we can't resist a garden center. <laughs> wow, look at this. It's so colorful. As much as we love these lavender colored roses, they don't have any buds on them. So we're looking at some other options now as well. I think those are really unique and beautiful and very happy. Now we're off to Easter lunch. Here we are at Kerwin. In the rain. <laughs> this, place, this, this place has one of the best views on the island. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's fantastic. And look at all these gorgeous plants everywhere. Oh, it's stunning. I'm getting a little wet though. <laughs> we have a table reserved. Look at that. Oh my goodness. In the summer. Okay, I don't care if I'm getting wet. I want to show everybody this. This is beautiful and look at that bay in the summer we bring the boat down here and anchor it and you can swim it's very sheltered so it's a beautiful spot we just anchor off here and we scuba dive and uh Gorgeous. snorkel oh it's spectacular okay but let's go inside now because i'm getting a little drizzly <laughs> yeah it's raining so we have beautiful plants for your sister and your mother. We do. In fact, we bought all three. We bought the roses. Yeah, um, I bought the roses. We bought the... Um, a pink marguerite. I don't know. The marguerites, yeah, which I think are going to be beautiful in Susanna's garden. And then the um, other ones we bought from Mum the window box. Yeah, beautiful. I don't know what those are, but they'll be uh, very nice. Yeah. And they flower all summer, apparently. So. Gorgeous. Hey, <laughs> Easter desserts of champions. <laughs> it's a banana split. Oh, <laughs> that's really beautiful. I love it. Oh, do you I like it? it? Yes, Happy do. Easter. Thank you. <laughs> That's really, yeah, so, really gorgeous. I love the flowers. Yeah. I love the colours. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it might clear up this afternoon, sweetheart. Well, that would be nice if it does. I mean, it is an island, so the weather goes through pretty quickly. That's true. We might get on the boat after all. We might. <laughs> My parents take a nap. <laughs> I think there's nothing to keep your father from getting on that boat. Uh, he might be 85, but he's pretty excited. It's like a jungle trip for him getting on the boat. Yes. The gangplank is on. It is indeed. So as you can see, nice. it's just been sealed with a varnish at the moment. And then it's tied to the rail very simply with some clove hitches, two clove hitches, and uh, bowlines on the uh, yep. on the um, plank itself. That's it, and it'll move around on that. See how it's moving, Perfect. it's quite comfortable. And All family moving. members in various stages of physical fitness can hop on and off. Yeah, <laughs> well done. <laughs> Very simple, just walk on. I just can't get over how nimble Simon's dad is. <laughs> I mean, look at him up there. He really is incredible. Not bad for 85 years old. I wonder if he'll be doing this when he's 95. I certainly hope so.
go. Out we go. It's Out beautiful. Out we go into the harbor. <laughs> That's just beautiful. Uh, you got the whole of Cyprus behind you. It's glorious. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Super day out. It is. <laughs> All your hard work paid off today. The boat looks great. Well, look at you. <laughs> it's a shame we don't have enough wind for the sails, but this is so good. Well, we'll do that next time. Yeah. Right now, this is just fun. Those are the mountains of Cyprus ahead of us. That's it, keep it straight, that's nice. And this way over here behind us, right over there is Turkey. If you just go that way straight, or even at an angle, you'll hit Turkey. <laughs> well, you've been a couple of times, right? You've been to Turkey a few times? I've been to Turkey a few times. Yeah, yeah. Loves us. <laughs> Chateau love, Paris love. Exactly. <laughs> Happy Easter. Love you. Pleased to love you. To say, hope you're having a wonderful holiday just as we are, and you're able to reminisce as well on happy, happy times with your family. Love you. Bye. I love you dearly, Dad and your granddaddy. Until next time. <laughs> when you kiss me, heaven sighs, and though I close my eyes, I see love yours. When you press me to your heart, I'm in a world apart, a world where roses bloom. And life will always